This masterpiece was released in 1993 by id, to critical acclaim, a worthy successor to the massively successful Wolfenstein 3D. In this video, we'll be going over some of the ways that hackers and hobbyists have taken this cult classic and turned it into the most violent hello world of this generation. By taking it and porting it to literally every single thing that it can conceivably run on, from calculators to fridges. My name is Eli and you're watching Elisha Tech. I'll preface this with a little bit of history. The reason why Doom is so versatile and built in such a way to where it's just about as practical to install a game on a printer as it is the MacBook Pro Touch Bar, more on that later. There are a few factors that go into this phenomenon, and I will cover them here briefly. Wolfenstein was originally built for DOS, and was so reliant on the host OS DOS that any and all attempts to port the game were met with massive difficulties. This led to focus being added to the portability of their next major title, Doom. Doom was released for the Next Step operating system, which was the predecessor of Mac OS in 1993, but this time it put a lot of effort into making it extremely portable. This led to their first source code release of Doom to be adjusted to work specifically on Linux. This caused those goofing around at the time to try and port it back over to DOS and Windows, which has snowballed into the kind of thing that allows you to play Doom on a fridge if you really, really want to. So from what started as the simple need to port over the open source of Doom to Windows, turned into the porting of Doom to new and odd hardware as the some sort of love letter to hacking culture. Kind of like a fuck you to consumerism, and personally one of my favorite and bloodiest ways of saying hello world. Here are a few examples of some of my favorite ports of Doom. Remember that all credits for these videos can be found in the description, so if you find one that's particularly interesting, there'll be a time code and a link.
And yes, in much the same way that the Doom soundtrack took a lot of inspiration from much other popular music at the time, so too has it been inspired covers and even ports of the song by artists and hackers. Just about anything you can imagine. This includes... And with that, I've covered just a fraction of the Doom modding culture. Doom is one of my favorite and most beloved games, and I love seeing more come from this game that is, like, older than me. And I look forward to seeing people do even more crazy shit with it in the future until the heat death of the universe. This has been Eli from Elisha Tech. And if you've enjoyed this video or learned anything from it at all, I would ask that you leave a like, comment, or even subscribe, because I do release content on a weekly basis now. Have a good day, and remember, rip and tear. Subscribe to Darkrai, subscribe to Ryan Dude, subscribe to Dan. Okay, bye.